What is up, guys? It's the Musical Stylings of the Sound Alchemist here with Gersh One. And today we're back at it to serenade to your hearts in another For the Greater. <laughs> this is a video series where we answer the questions left by you, the viewer. If you have a question for us, please comment down below. Put a question in front of your question because we get those questions first. first. That is what uh, Omen Akumaru did. Could the Death Corps of Krieg outlast the Black Templars if they had to have a super long, century-long fight? Or would the Black Templars outlast uh, the Death Corps of Krieg? Um, that's a really interesting question because, like, I guess to put it into simpler terms, like, it's War of Attrition versus War of, I guess you can consider the Black Templars elite, kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's, they're space marines. I mean, they're, they are the elite of the elite, kind of. And the Black Templar chapter is rare in that it doesn't hold the usual number of um, uh, battle brothers. Most battle uh, or most chapters are supposed to have a thousand battle brothers. Yeah. Not the Black Templars. The no. Black Templars have multiple. I think they call them Crusades, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that that would be like. So like, really, what you're saying is like, I don't even think. There is an exact number of crusades. Uh, I think that's in the fluff. It's kind of ambiguous for you to kind of like create your own crusade uh, or chapter of the Black Templars. So I would say yes, the Black Templars would completely destroy oh, and outlast the Death Corps. Easy, Corp easy. Yeah. I've got like six scripts in the making right now, and the one that I've been having the most fun with is on the Black Templars, because recently we found out that, well, we've always found out, we've always known that they don't adhere to the Adeptus uh, Codex, so they do whatever. That's why they have more legionnaires than they should. And they're so, like, they can do whatever they want, pretty much. Like, they have that type of um, autonomy that they can literally kill off Primaris Marines that are sent to reinforce them. And that is exactly what happened. The chaplain said, you know, Custody, you are delivering these heretics to us. You know, you are against the god emperor. And that's another thing. They believe that the emperor is divine, a god. So how are you going to, you know debate or cancel anything out when God himself is giving you these orders. So in their light, they're always going to be right because of that excuse of the emperor's God divine, always right. So when the custody was delivering the Primaris Marines to reinforce this crusade of the Black Templars, they obliterated them. They killed the custody, they killed the Primaris. And if they can take out, you know, these... Astartes that are essentially stronger, better, faster than a regular Astarte on top of a Custody, they could easily take out the Death Corps of Krieg. Oh yeah. Doesn't matter that their Death Corps of Krieg has like reinforcements after reinforcements and it's really just children. Mm -hmm. It's just children. Yeah. Uh, but it, it also like if we were to say Space Marine Chapter versus Imperial Guard Regiment, the same would be true. Right. Yeah. For, for most of them. Because even if it's like, let's say, a, a Codex Compliant Chapter, mm -hmm. They're like they're not going to fight wars of attrition, knowing that they can't win wars of attrition. So, Ultra or the Space Marines are just like superb battle tacticians. True. Um, lately, I was talking about how Space Marines. Everybody thinks they're like the pinnacle of the Imperium, the best of the best. But that's mm -hmm. not always the case. Right. Like they fought against the Sisters of Battle during uh, Goge Van Dyer's Reign of Blood, and they were actually getting pushed back. Yep. Just regular Sisters. Um, same thing with... With Rosariuses. Well, there you go. They had <laughs> Rosariuses on their hand. That's why they won. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other thing, too, is like these Space Marines are meant to be an end-all... Like They're, they're over-encompassing. So yeah. they're, they're not particularly strong in one aspect of war. They kind of cover all bases. So they're the masters of none, but they still get the job done. Yeah. And that is how they've managed to be so... Um, I guess their winning streaks are so high because of that. Yeah, and but, on the tabletop, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, but then if you check out the video that I just did recently, the assassin versus the space marine, Imperial assassins are leagues above them. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, they're a specialized unit. As yes. Well. Yeah. But again, this is the surgical knife against the, I don't know. Holter. Yeah. <laughs> Which is basically just a grenade launcher. <laughs> basically, yeah. So you just got to remember that, that uh, space marines pretty much can take out anybody, but that doesn't mean they're invincible. Right. Good question, though. Uh, next question comes from the big one. My baby mama says you guys sleep with a ruler under your pillow to measure how long you sleep. Do you? And if not, are you calling my baby moms a liar? 
Uh, it's cool that you have a baby mom because you ask a lot of questions. The big one does. The mm-hmm. big one asks a lot of questions uh, pertaining to his love life. Yeah. But you have a baby mama. Interesting. <laughs> uh, and I don't use the ruler to measure um, how long I sleep. I use it to measure something else. Right. And I think that's what you should be measuring it too. I always keep the ruler handy because you never know when you might be having a good day. You're extra hydrated. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, bust it out. All the way back to the, the never mind. <laughs> the fupa? Yeah, measure from there. <laughs> uh, this next one is by Subject Keter. The most of the perpetuals got mad at the emperor for being a dictator. But what bright ideas did the everlasting clown circus have? And could they actually have done good? The cabal, right? You're talking about that. I guess that's what he's referring to. Well, that... And even before that, um, when the emperor was reclaiming Terra, uh, he didn't do it by himself. He did have a group of perpetuals kind of on his side, such as Erda, Malkador, Astarte, helping him out with everything, planning the whole creation of the Primarchs and taking over Terra and other imperial or human-controlled planets, for that matter. So yeah, he did have a uh, quite a good amount of perpetuals on his side. But yeah, if one by one, they all decided that the emperor was either too arrogant or he was doing things in a manner that they couldn't agree with so they decided to split apart and that is essentially how the cabal came to uh, fruition because obviously the emperor was against xenophobia or against xenos he's xenophobic so that's kind of where they decided to create a conglomerate of perpetual humans and other xenos to kind of help dictate to the sway of uh, fate i guess you can say and it makes sense that um they would go against the emperor because he was the most powerful psyker, but at the same time, there's like that arrogance that he, that arrogance that led him to make so many mistakes. Yeah, time and time again, we've seen this. Yeah. So is the god emperor a, a uh, worthy um, person to worship? No. Answer is no. Unless you have a Rosarius with you, then it could come in handy. Oh, yeah. It's the Rosarius that leads you, or that helps you, not the faith in the emperor. Mm-hmm. Next question. Isaac Langdon, which did the emperor value more during the Great Crusade, the Primarchs or the Custodes? Well, I think he definitely valued the um, Primarchs as like his children. Yeah. He didn't call the Adeptus Custodes his children. No, they were his bodyguards. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Time and time again, we've seen the emperor put anything and everything above the Primarchs. I mean, if he didn't value the Primarchs, why would he go hunting for his sons? Yeah. Um, why would he do everything in his power to bring them over to his cause, even if it meant them, like, hating him? Like, he could have taken Angron from his home world in many different ways. But no, he decided to do it the most cru- cruelest way possible um, because he just wanted his sons back. Um, obviously he did create both the Custodes and the Primaris, so he does have some type of connection between that. But at the end of the day... The Primarchs are his kids. Yeah. Even though it's interesting that I don't think that the Emperor and his plans ever... Because I still think that he was going to destroy the Primarchs eventually. Yeah. Or push them away. Mm -hmm. He wasn't going to do that for the Adeptus Custodus, which is an interesting thing. Because, like, yes, I I agree. Like, the value was in the Primarchs. But his bodyguards, less value, but they're going to live longer. Right. Because, I mean, he always the emperor valued humanity more. Mm -hmm. And custodies are basically alchemically augmented humans. Yeah. Whereas Primarchs are not. Yeah. And they were like a tool used for, that could be used forever, I guess. Primarchs were not. Or they, they didn't seem like they were going to be. Right. They caused a lot of trouble. The next one comes from Freeway Kings. Growing weed? (laughs) Uh, No, not anymore. But if you want to buy some, just go to your local, what is it called? Dispensary? There you go. It's pretty much legal everywhere now. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. Like when we started the channel, people used to make those jokes and stuff like that. And it was an, an illegal thing. And it was something that people like had to hide that they did. And now like, yeah, everybody smokes weed. Yeah. Cabal? Us. Yeah, except us. Yeah. Say no to drugs. Yes. Where's my dare shirt? <laughs> Cabal of the bloody spoon. Can the emperor microwave a burrito so hot that he himself cannot eat it? This is like one of those... Um, uh, uh, what is it like if God's so powerful and all knowing can he he has to be able to create something he can't like solve or something, something like that yeah immovable object versus unstoppable force something like that yeah mm-hmm. yeah 
And the answer is uh, the emperor actually doesn't like burritos. No. He's more of a torta type of guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I actually, I would agree. I like tortas better than burritos. I, I've never really was a burrito guy until recently, and I think it's just messy. <laughs> yeah. It depends, too, on, like, what kind of burrito, because sometimes they put, like, sour cream and stuff. Mm-hmm. And why would you microwave sour cream? <laughs> That's gross. That is true. Put it on the outside, not the inside. Yeah. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Uh, this next question comes from Magashi Science. <laughs> Could the Ghostbusters capture a ghost god or chaos god? Much love from Puerto Rico. Hey. Uh, <laughs> haciendo. <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't. I, it's been so long since I've seen Ghostbusters, but I think they even put like those huge ghosts into that little box, so they should be able to. No. Yeah, actually, like one of the main things is uh, in the latest Ghostbusters spoiler alert. Uh, it is like a god ghost. Mm. It's like a demon from another uh, universe or another reality who gets summoned, and they have to capture it, and okay. they do. Or well. I mean, Paul, Paul Rudd does it. Yeah, Paul Rudd. Yeah, <laughs> not the uh, kid from Stranger Things. Or actually, I don't remember if it's Paul Rudd. It gets interesting. Okay. I would recommend you guys watch it if you guys have nothing else to do. But is it uh, on anything like Hulu, Netflix? It might be HBO now. Oh, okay, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer the question, yeah, I think I think uh, the Ghostbusters can do it. They used to have a, a cartoon. I they remember. did. Yeah. And those were the questions for today. If you guys have more questions for us, please comment down below. Thank you guys so much for listening and hanging out with us, and we'll talk tomorrow. This has been The Sound Alchemist. Gersh one. And hopefully we've serenaded you guys to slumber, or to keep painting. Okay. Out. <laughs>